In America, we have the right to pursue our life. We have the right to pursue performance. We have the right to pursue productivity. But most importantly, we have the right to pursue prosperity. And when a person does their job, they are pursuing their version of income, their version of an hourly wage, and their version of employment. When a person is a business owner, they pursue a different methodology than you do. You choose to be controlled by your corporation and your local company in terms of your time management and what you can and cannot do both on the job and off the job as a representative of that major corporation in a local community that basically allows your company. In America, you have to establish yourself basically as an employee, and we absolutely know what cash flow quadrants are taught to us by the impressive Robert Kiyosaki and his wife. But the truth is that how people build wealth for their families is completely and utterly up to them singly and individually. Whether they are an individual who is technically single in America or whether they are someone who is in a coupleship in America, that was their decision. Who they chose to lay with, who they chose to play with, who they choose to stay with is their choice. But at the same time, each individual has the right to decide their employment, decide their income level to a point based on where they choose to basically try to get a job. But as you know, every young person is given the rhetoric of what they should do to get themselves a good quality position. And where they begin their career is often where they end their career because some people are lazy like that. Some people do not pursue trying to find a salary job. Some people do not try to pursue education that teach them how to do that. And some people do pursue to be derelicts of a community, sitting their ass on a block with their cup out, with their sign out saying, look, this is what I'm in in struggle. This is my heart condition. This is my homelessness. This is my poverty. But some people do do that for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years of their lifetime. Other people come to poverty through unusual ways, where their name has been taken, their identity has been mistaken by someone else, meaning that individual has lied and stolen the rights to their life. They have lied and stolen their rights to their medical records. They have lied and stolen information about who their mental health practitioners, helping them deal with the transition of a late spouse, a late parent, a late child is about and openly in America we have rights to be ourselves we also have the right to have a shelter we have the right to f seek shelter when it's raining and when it's snowing and when it's hailing we have the right to pursue food as American citizens we have the right to find it in helpful places when we cannot find it through our own means and our own social graces but we have the right to buy food with the generosity of local strangers or we have the right to buy our nourishment, our nutrition, our, for our cellular health through our own employment, our own engagement of our own services. In life, people forget the basics of life. They forget how to help people in life. They prefer to feed a pet over a human person, a human being in life. And isn't that a shame? That someone will go and spend $60, $70 sometimes at a pet shop to feed their loving pet pet they can't do one fucking thing for them in a lifetime except for to provide them love and entertainment but at the same time they'll walk past somebody on a block who is totally in struggle because of cybercrime identity theft and fraud and their life and they'll basically let them starve to death it's amazing how when you reach out to churches and say would you mind delivering some food to this individual who's on a block they will actually end up driving up and giving the food money giving the canned goods to someone else who is not the individual who contacted them. You have to wonder what is the problem in their secretary's office. You have to wonder what the problem is with the receptionist, but most definitely you have to wonder what the story is with their pastor who did not pursue the correct employees, who basically made their church look like a disaster. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and the truth is most people will not give up a cup of coffee at a Starbucks or a Panera just to help someone eat and feed themselves for the day. At the same time, churches don't think how to utilize their numbers to help someone get out of the streets during the day. Not every person is worth helping is something that technically might be proven to them, especially if they're addicted or they have vices and they have codependency to drugs, alcohol, sex, or other 
Well, what we might call something that gets off balance in a human being's life. But for most people like me, most people who got here into poverty because of an attack on a life, we don't often get the help we need because they think, he's smart enough, he'll figure it out, he'll get out of that on his own. And that is truthful unless we have someone pursuing us, abusing us, harming us, and being amused by us in their own immature, immaterial, not at all, illegal and illicit behavior.